Hey everyone, MTAST here, and for the past few hours I've been buying as many weapon mods as I can and testing them out. I've spent over 120,000 glimmer at this point on weapon and armor mods, and uh, I think I've got a pretty good grasp of what they do now. Every piece of armor can equip different mods. The boots and the helmet, they do stuff like grenade recharge and melee recharge, while the arm pieces do things like kinetic weapon reload speed. There are rare and legendary mods to equip, but I wouldn't really worry about it because the only difference is 5 extra defense if you equip a legendary mod. Late game, maybe it'll make you a little bit tankier if every piece is legendary. I, I don't think it's going to matter that much. What matters is the cooldown time, and I've tested it with both, and from everything I can tell, it's the exact same. Also, whether you're using a melee mod, a grenade mod, or a class ability mod, it will reduce the cooldown by about 10%. However, the more you stack, the less return you're going to get. From what I can tell, it is multiplicative, if I said that right, multiplicative. So, um, instead of getting the full 20% for having two mods, you only actually get about like 19 or 18. The first mod I used gave me 8 seconds off my cooldown, the next one only 6 seconds, but that's still 14 seconds off the cooldown of your grenade, your, your melee, your class ability. This is fantastic. If I could give you one recommendation, it would be to spend a lot of your glimmer, almost all of your glimmer, on these weapon and armor mods. Because then you have options. You can have a setup for your arc class, your solar class, and your void class. Because 14 seconds is a lot of seconds. And then you throw in stuff like kinetic weapon reload speed, and you start having a much better character than someone that's not using mods. A really cool example of this is the handling mods that you can get on some of your armor pieces. As you can see, my handling is slightly below my stability on this auto rifle. I quit my armband, and now it's slightly above it. And then I can stack it again with my helmet and push it even further. So, if you're using something like a sniper rifle where you want to aim down sights as fast as possible, throw on a couple power weapon handling mods. Now you're going to be aiming down sights faster than the people that aren't using this mod. Very big fan of this, I like how you can kind of customize your weapons using these mods. Now for one of the strongest mods in the game, the Kinetic Reload mod. This gives you between 18 and 20% quicker reloads. When you're using something slow like a hand cannon, this feels amazing. It's not quite as noticeable with things like pulse rifles with a fast reload speed, but overall, I'm a big fan of this and I think it has the most value for the arm slot. You can get things like cooldown reduction on your melee, but I personally think taking the Kinetic Reload mod is one of the best decisions you'll make when you're equipping mods on your gear. My final tip for you is don't touch the health recovery mods. They're, they're absolutely horrendous because all they do really is reduce the time it takes for your health to start recovering. But the second you take damage again, it completely resets this and stops it. But if you do something like a grenade cooldown, that effect is always happening. You're always benefiting from it. The reload speed, you're always benefiting from it. So don't touch those ones. Stick with the cooldown, stick with the stats, and you're going to be very happy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and please, if you can, share this with your friends so that they understand how the mod system works, and so I can get 100 million views! I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye bye